well here we are at the, the uh, great great Arwood show where all the farmers are showing all their uh, skills and what have you what a massive show I'm going in to have a look round meeting some farmers and friends I'm sure I'm sure it'll be pretty exciting so if you look and turn round here we're in the arena where all the action is at the moment so it's really really busy here really busy I've got some important people coming round. I think we've got the uh, Highburn uh, Mayor and Mayoress, apparently. Somewhere circulating. Can you give me your title, please? I'm Jerry Earn, Highburn's Mayor. Oh, fantastic chain you've got there, mate. Thank you. How old is it? Many uh, older than me, anyway. That's yeah. Old. Absolutely awesome. I, I love the design on that. Yeah. Just fantastic. Well, they don't make them like this today. No, they? they don't. No, 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 no. I can't find them like that, neither. <laughs> and where's your, oh, your lady wife is here. Hello. Hiya. Can you just tell me who you are? I'm Jean Hearn and the, the Lady Mayoress of Primeville. Oh, wonderful to meet you. You're just going to go around the country now on my channel. Thank you. <laughs> Thank From you here to much. USA to Mexico, all over that place. Thank you. Very I'm sure. Cool. I'm to meet you. Proper, I like a shit area. That's what it's all about. We've got some fantastic history, fantastic land and culture and landscapes. A true Lancashire land. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Talk to me. Tell me the breeds again. So uh, tell me the breeds. This, this young gentleman. Here. Farmer. Which is a young farmer. What breeds of sheep is it available? There's, there's warbles that are black and hot. There's uh, some chiviots over here. There's some gritsons, hamburgers, texels, and uh, many more. Such a wide variety of breeds of sheep. It's just mind-boggling. I should imagine they're for different for different areas and different fields and different locations, are you? I yeah. should imagine, is that what they are? Yeah, yeah, well, like, Britson's more of a hilly breed, and uh, Hampshire's more of like a lowland sort of breed. All right, okay. And, and what's generally look very common in our area, in the Lancashire area? Uh, probably more like Hampshire's and uh, Warbles and uh, Texels and lowland sort of breed. Here we go. It's... Oh, which one of these, then? I have no idea what they're called. Is it Viking? Wow, unusual. Look at these, different. So these different breeds, what are these called? Yeah, cracking. Right, we're going to get you famous now. <laughs> I met some two wonderful couple here. <laughs> yep. They are uh, in I'm charge of. Well, they're no. in charge of directing me where to go. <laughs> that way. <laughs> Just in case you lost. That way. <laughs> right, we're up and running, and he's watching himself <laughs> on my YouTube. Ah yeah. How do? How awesome is that? Good friend. Good friend. Good friend. Uh, Blood Brothers now, Blood Brothers. We're gonna do the knife thing and cut for the blood. Close, yeah, happy close, days. close. Definitely, I'm a good looking one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, you can't have everything, you know. <laughs> Fully grown. That is the question. I think it's been cheered. Look at that, keeping the shade. Very good. Look at that. Look at that breed, that's unusual breed, isn't it? Unusual breed there. What do you reckon? You're unusual. Tick the boxes. And that's the uh, unusual lambs. Hello. Hello, how are you? Are you just chilling? Are you just chilling? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, just chilling, you guys. See?
You're going to be famous mate, the USA they're watching this. <laughs> Have you got anything to say for yourself? What are your hair doing? Is that your hair on? Yeah, yeah, sure. What, what, num what number have you got? Number three? Is it number three? What? Yeah. Uh, no, <laughs> Setting. Uh, zero, I think. <laughs> zero. Oh, warm, warm. There's a little bit left on. There we go. Will it, mate? Oh, you hope you take it up for a living? Eh? I hope you take it up for a living. <laughs> and that's how you do it. Dexter Bull chilling out. Oh, just getting chilled, I think. Getting bored, probably. Having, a, having an afternoon nap. Yeah, all right. What breed are these then? Highland. Highland, yes. These are smother nature. Things in our country that you're going to see. Uh, don't think you're going to see that one up where we are in, in Lancashire. I think they're down southern then. I think it's a grass snake. But definitely. See plenty of them. Society. Right, okay, and can you tell me a bit about it? Yes, we're an organisation that's to promote the management and planting of and looking after hedges all around the country. Super, but this is obviously for the nature side of our country. Yes, it's to encourage not just the hedges which are traditional livestock barriers around fields yes but it's also corridors for wildlife food for wildlife shelter it's just a really good environmental and with the modern day technology carbon capture is a real big input for planting hedges also for retaining water preventing 
flooding. Everything is in favour of planting hedges and maintaining them properly. All animals, insects, wild any, any wild animals or wildlife requires hedges for food for nectar from flowers, seeds, shelter, places to lay their nests, to lay their eggs, shelter for hedgehogs, snakes, uh, stoats, hedgehogs, all types of animals use hedges as a means for getting on the countryside and somewhere to feed, eat and sleep. How do they manage these then? How is it managed then? Well, the, traditionally hedges have been laid every 20 years, very approximately, depending on how well the hedge is trimmed. Nowadays with mechanical hedge trimmers, hedges are sometimes trimmed too severely. And it oh. is recommended that farmers only lightly trim their hedges every two years so they don't destroy the hedges too much. Are you finding that farmers are sort of find it hard to do this kind of work because they're so busy? Or unfortunately, because farming has a shortage of labour, for farmers to maintain their hedges and lay them regular, it is far too easy these days just to put a, a netting fence in alongside the hedge so that they don't need to spend a lot of time laying hedges. Yeah. So the new government scheme, the new Elm scheme, the Environmental Land Management scheme for maintaining the wildlife and hedgerows and trees, farmers are going to have to do more work regarding the environment, which includes managing and looking after hedgerows better. And do you think there might be um, help by the government for the farmers to... With the new Elm scheme, the yes. grant scheme is going to be more biased towards the environment, and farmers oh. are going to have to do more environmental things. Rather than just being farm paid to farm an acreage, yes. they will have to do environmental schemes to receive their money. Oh, I see. Is is it part of DEFRA or is DEFRA a different company in Thailand? Yeah, DEFRA is part of it. It's a rural payments agency which administers the payment of money yeah. for the new stewardship schemes regarding the wildlife. Yeah, I'm all for that. Definitely, definitely help the environment. That's what we, what we like to do. Well, thank you very much. That's been brilliant and educating. Okay, that wraps it all up. Um, been looking on the uh, great Harwood uh, show, looking at the animals, uh, sheep shearing, and loads of things happening here. I'm going to look further, but I hope you've enjoyed my my views of the great Harwood show. Take care. Thank you, subscribe if you can, and we will catch you on the field. Cheers.